Hey everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to set up hyper terminal with ZSH and some other useful information and these are the things which worked for me and hopefully it will work for you as well and if you have a better idea better way to do these things so you can uh, tell me in the comment section so the first thing we need to install hyper and for that we'll just download it from Google So you can download hyper from here and just download it and install it and I have already installed it so once you have installed you'll get a shortcut and so this is a fresh installation so once you open hyper this is how it's gonna look so there are no stylings nothing so a couple of things you should notice so when you download it you can go to your home folder uh, which is like your users and your name so in your home folder you will see some couple of new files one most important one is .hyper.js and then there will be some other files like hyper plugins and package lock and if package lock is not there that's fine you should have package.json as well so okay uh, that's not important so you should have a look at this file right now if you open dot hyper dot js so this is how this file looks so the important so we'll come back to this file and edit this so now you have to set up ZSH so for that uh, you need access of Linux repo so on Windows we need to install Ubuntu there is a nice way to do this thing so you have to go to Windows you have to go to Windows Store In the search bar just search for Linux and it will take you to this uh, Linux on Windows totally so click on get the apps so you will see all the popular Linux distributions available so you can just go ahead and download one of these so I have already downloaded Ubuntu so once you download this and install it so you will you can see it here in your search bar so if you open this it will take you to the command prompt and you have to install these two applications in that command prompt so the first one is zsh use this command to install zsh and then install oh my zsh use this command to install oh my zsh use the exactly same commands there is a space between curl and hyphen f s s l and then space and then path to this repo and after these two are installed just install powerline fonts for that you need to follow these seven steps just go to this github repo and clone it or download it once you download you will have uh, these two folders fonts master and then again fonts master in that folder whatever you will download from this path now you open the powershell as an admin stand down the execution policies by using this command set execution policy space bypass it will ask you permission you can press s and then install this file uh, run this script by using this command and then you can set your execution policies to default again now the next step is we need to edit our hyper.js file so that it will point to our ubuntu bash open this file and search for shell key and paste this path 
you can also check at this path this file will be present as we have already installed Ubuntu so this file will be present at Windows System32 save this file now restart your hyper so now your hyper will look like this now it is pointing to your Linux bash now the next step is we need to edit our dot bash RC file so that it will open ZSH really again go back to your hyper and open dot bash rc file by using this command and in this file you just have to write this line bash space hyphen c space zsh save it now close this restart your hyper and now you can see it is pointing to zsh and it's working fine and if you press type exit it will take you back to linux bash command line couple of more things if you don't want to see the long text like this one uh, computer name and the and then the path you can just edit your bash rc file again open the bash rc file at the end of this bash rc file just insert this line export ps1 is equal to so whatever you will write here hyphen hyphen angular bracket or anything so this will appear instead of the text which you have already seen save this file restart your hyper actually you can also reload it from hyper as well you can just go to this command view reload or full reload so this is called hot reloading so now if I exit and go back so it will show nice arrow symbol instead of the text part now so now if you if you jump so by default it will open your zsh because you have changed the file but if you want to jump back and forth you can just type zsh here so yeah it will take you again to the zsh command line so now a couple of more things so if you open we'll go back because we want to access zsh rc file we will open zsh rc file So this file contains all the things that are needed for ZSH. So if you see this line where it is ZSH theme, so you can change themes. So the one problem I was facing with Agnostor theme, which is very popular. So let's try to set up Agnostor theme. The thing you have to do is you'll have to find this line. By default, it will be ruby russell just change it to agnostor and save it restart your hyper so i was surprised that it was not working as i wanted so the workaround for this which worked for me just go to your hyper.js file
so in the hyper.js file you'll see some options in plugins so just go to plugins so if you don't have anything don't worry so I was just experimenting few things so if you just have to put verminal in the plugins and then just search for font family and there just enter these values verminal as key and all these key value pairs in the object font size according to yourself and then font family as source code pro for power line so once you save this just restart your hyper again wow so now uh, it's working it looks nice so a couple of more things we want to avoid this desktop name and this path should be a little shorter so once we go deep into some folders so it will become longer and longer it takes a lot of space in our terminal so we want this to be only two steps older like if we are into some folder so we just want to see users and name for that we need to go back to our bash press exit and open zshrc file so at the end of this file just add these few values few lines of code first one is for prompt context and then three lines for prompt directory you can change this line according to whatever is, is your requirement to save this file and restart your hyper full reload yeah now it's it looks a lot better than previous thank you everyone for watching this video if you found it helpful like it share it and leave your comment if you have any issues or you have a better way to do this thing and also let me know uh, if you want me to cover any other topic thank you